Good morning. So today's Tuesday and I'm still getting used to this whole online class thing because I'm supposed to have class at 8 but my prof didn't post anything about a Zoom call. So I think this means from what he said that we're just gonna be doing most of the things asynchronously like at our own pace so he'll be posting videos of our lectures and I guess I'm just gonna take note of what he says but then that was for my 8 a.m. class so now I'm waiting for announcements from my 11 a.m. class but she said she prefers Zoom so I assume we have class today but I don't know um so I'm gonna call Zach and we're gonna play Among Would Us Would you like to say hello? We're back! Hello. We're just waiting for our classes that are not gonna happen, probably. So, no class today, but we do have a homework and I have some videos to watch. And I think I'll just take a nap first because I only had like three to four hours of sleep and I'm dying. So, I will do all my school stuff after my nap. I'm sorry, this has just been a bunch of fails of me not actually going to class. So it's my Tito's birthday today and because we always have a Zoom call like every Sunday um, we decided to get everyone the same food and my grandparents sent over the food and they even sent over, I think this is champagne, sparkling something. have to make a video for one of my classes it's just like an introduction video like tell your story type of thing so I don't think it's gonna be too hard to do um, our prof also understands that not all of us have like the means to make like really cool videos um, another thing I did was watch my film design profs online lecture and I just took note of <laughs> I just took note of everything he said and yeah, I really missed writing notes. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. 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 I don't know why I feel so overwhelmed with my assignments. I only have like two assignments due next week and I'm freaking out about it. I don't know why, like, it's not even that hard. I'm just not used to online class, I think, and I just have to, like, make sure I get the work done right away as soon as it's given to me so I don't end up procrastinating and actually, like, breaking down because of the amount of things I have to do. Hi. Hi. Hello. So, I'm Anya and I don't know how to talk about myself, I guess let's just start from the beginning. So like a lot of other children, I was forced to go to these workshops as a child, mostly cooking, theater, and art. So I grew up thinking that I would be some famous theater actress, slash painter, slash chef. I was very wrong. In grade school, I joined a bunch of singing, slash theater, slash art organizations and clubs. But I soon realized I was not very good at it. Or at least compared to the other kids in my school, which really brought down my self-esteem, but everything is fine now. And then one day, my high school teacher asks me, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I answer, I don't know. And mind you, this is the month I'm supposed to be taking my college entrance exams. So I racked my brain and I knew I liked music, I knew I liked art, and I found out I liked editing videos because of the amount of video assignments we had in high school. And then BOOM! Light bulb film! Yay! <laughs> Since then, I started a YouTube channel called Anya! Exclamation point, where I vlog, sing, draw, and mostly just goof off with my friends. I started going to film school, meeting new people, and making things I really, really like. I started streaming on Sessions Live where I sing and just hang out and chat, I guess. I started my very own shop where I sell prints and stickers that I made myself. Yeah, I have a lot of hobbies. Uh, it's been 
is the Hi. next day and today I'm just going to pack some orders and finish editing my video that I filmed yesterday. I think I'll also do my other homework where I have to watch the movie Shift which is a 2013 Filipino movie and it's about, I believe, a call center agent who falls in love with her openly gay co-worker. That's what like the synopsis says. Um, so I'll have to make like a little essay about that of how... something about criticism. I honestly haven't read the PowerPoint yet so I'll figure it out. <laughs> Hello. So, I don't know if this is still interesting to a lot of you guys because it's just me doing a lot of homework and it's not like my old film vlogs where it's shooting and I'm always with my friends and we're always being stupid and stuff like that. But I've just been really preoccupied with all of my homework and I just hope that you guys still find this entertaining, I guess. And if not, just, just freaking tell me. <laughs> so I've been working on a couple of homeworks. I've had to watch um, Shift and then other than that, I have film design class, which is so freaking cool. I love the class. Um, we're learning about production design and um, the last lecture we talked a lot about uh, like Japanese art styles like um, wabi-sabi and okioi. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation but then it was so cool when we talked about Isle of Dogs. And then I have another homework where in production design I have to make like a Captain America shield but it's for like a Philippine superhero and um, it just has to have a lot of meaning into it and like every decision has to mean something. So I'm thinking of putting, of making it like a salakot. So like in the day he wears a salakot and then when, 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 it, when there's trouble, you know it's a shield. And then it'll have like um, tenalak patterns and other weaving patterns in it and it would be really cool. Um, yeah, that's basically my life right now. I don't really have a life outside school. <laughs> So a few updates, it was my birthday two days ago and I was very like, I didn't know if I should be excited because it's, you know, it's a quarantine birthday and it's not like the normal, I can have a party with my friends, which I usually always do. It's also a really nice excuse to get everyone together, even with like our busy college lives and I was looking forward to that, but then, you know, that's not really possible in this time. So. Instead, my friend surprised me. I mean, like, I knew we were gonna call and play games, but, um, yeah, uh, they, <laughs> they were all in our Discord channel, and we played <laughs> oh, Alien, no. um, the game in the Jackbox Steam game, if you know that. Um, we played Among Us, we played Code Words. Code Words is also a very fun game, you should try it out with your friends. And then we spent, like, four hours just talking to each other and catching up and we've been friends since like grade nine some of us even before that so we talked about like all of our past stuff that we've never brought up before like oh these two people were together why did you guys break up and then it was just so funny and entertaining and it's so nice like we get to talk about that stuff and We've all moved on from what we've done in the past, so it's like a sort of closure for all of us. Seth made them do this thing where they all drew on this same canvas online. But basically, they made a like, collective drawing of stuff that reminds them of me. So I'm very thankful for my friends and you guys made my birthday. So incredible and also my mom she's so sweet when it hit midnight she came into my room she barged in while i was playing Valorant with a cake and it was so sweet and yes i love my friends and family so much 
um thank you for everyone who greeted me and just made me feel a little more loved that day and yes anyway for my birthday like i said um in my last video i am doing a charity thing fundraiser so the proceeds from my shop will go to the Verlani Foundation. They're an NGO that helps with supporting um, street children, like with their healthcare education. Just basically building them up, building them, just basically build, oh, just basic, <laughs> they basically build them up to be the best person they can be, even in the time like COVID. And I really want to support them. So yeah, thank you so much to everyone who's already purchased. And if you would like to purchase, Link will be down below. Um, this goes for both local and international. For the international though, I can only send you printables because I'm still scared to send international stuff because of the conditions right now with COVID and I don't want mail to get lost. 